all knew at 11 he had a badge and he pretended to be a trooper. That's how a local dealership says this guy right here tricked them into taking a truck on a test drive. Then, well, he never brought the truck back. WBZ's Jim Smith is live in Manchester, New Hampshire tonight with the search for this fake officer. Jim? And David, police here in Manchester tell us they're really investigating this suspect for two crimes. First of all, the alleged theft of the truck from this dealership and also the occasion when witnesses say he allegedly posed as a police officer. It, he w didn't seem sketchy at all. He, just, he walked in like any other customer would walk in. And Witnesses say he wore a Massachusetts State Police windbreaker, shaking hands, asking to test drive a pickup truck. Police tell us he told a salesperson here at Team Nissan he was a cop, took that test drive, and never came back. Provided no license or identification, but flashed a badge while he was wearing a Massachusetts State Police style jacket. The salesman assumed he was law enforcement, gave him the keys to a 2011 Chevrolet pickup. The man absconded with it and has not been seen since. The dealership says the guy seemed legit, even though they never saw a driver's license. He was asked for, and he to, he said, "Oh, well, my my car is parked way over there." He's like, he's like, look, I'm a, he's like, I'm a cop. He showed his he showed a badge, and he showed me showed a police ID. They say the suspect had originally taken the gray Chevy Silverado for a drive with a dealer, but then wanted to take it for a spin alone. He went on a test drive with the salesperson first, and then he came back. He said, yeah, I really like it. I want to show it to my wife. He's like, you mind if I take it for about an hour? That suspect is a heavyset white man over six feet tall who identified himself as Adam Foley of Merrimack, New Hampshire. Police say it's a lesson. Any dealership, it should be anyone out there that's allowing someone to test drive a vehicle, perhaps get a valid license identification. And tonight, police are still looking for that suspect and the truck. If you can help, they would like you to give them a call. Live in Manchester, New Hampshire, Jim Smith, WBZ News.